Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Nomad Edition, where we must carry everything on us at all times, pretty much. Um, so today, I am going to attempt to get the spudling gun. We have the normal spud gun, we have the spud shotgun, but we still are lacking the spudling gun, which is one of the side quests that I have given myself in this series. Even though I don't really have much of a reason to use the spudling gun, because it is a big waste of ammo, and ammo is scarce in the nomad lifestyle. Uh, but it is my quest to get the spudling gun nonetheless. So if you missed the last episode, uh, we gave ourselves a nice folding door here that actually extends out and, uh closes back in let me see if i can get get it in action there we go yeah it works pretty good and we also gave ourselves a watering system so we no longer have to carry buckets by the side of the ocean so now when i press number three a uh, watering system comes out and we can just pretty much run down the line or drive down the line while we expel some water and you can see our water is low so let's go ahead and fill up the water container with some of our water here all right, there we go, all filled up. I'll put the remaining water back there, and we will keep the cook bot cooking some veggie burgers that uh, we got the ingredients from our last harvest. So tonight, um, I can be anywhere to do this pretty much, but uh, I'm gonna plant a farm, and let's check out, what do I need? Bra pineapple? I don't remember. I think pineapple. <laughs> I hope I have that right. I think I need to get more pineapple for the spudling gun. So I got plenty of fertilizer. Oh, I guess I didn't get plenty of fertilizer. I have 24 fertilizer. Oh, wait a minute. I think I crafted some fertilizer over here. Yo, there we go. There's 30 more fertilizer. We're going to have a whole bunch. This is going to be a risky night because I'm going to plant just a whole bunch of, I think, broccoli and pineapple because they're pretty high value crops. But the goal is to have all of it fertilized so we'll be able to pick it up before the raid. And that raid is probably... Probably definitely going to have some tape bots in it. I don't think farm bots though. I hope not. Well, even if it has farm bots, as long as we're ready for it. I got uh, I got machine gun on this thing and I think we're all full of ammo. Yeah, we're all filled up with ammo. We'll be able to take on farm bots in this thing. It'll be no problem. So trader is over there. Actually, we need to be by the packing station. Yeah, since we're going to have to do pineapple. Let's find the pineapple. I forget which packing station the pineapple is actually at. So I think that's gonna be first priority. Let's plant outside of the packing station because we are we can do that now, we are capable. All right, can I get up the hill? Uh, no problem, no problem at all. Yeah, we got it. All right, I think pine, is pineapple at this one? No, broccoli is at this one. I think pineapple is at the other one over, I hope I'm right about this. But I'm gonna go to the other packing station and hopefully we can get our farm set up by midnight. All right, here's the packing station. Please have pineapple here. Yeah, we got pineapple here. So I'm just gonna plant right in the road. And I don't know why I didn't think of this for last time, uh, but the comments made me aware that I could just as easily plant um, a single row, not a single row, but like just a single series of three wide crops rather than doing six wide like I was doing before. So if I just go one, two, three, I forgot about the paint. And I, I just go down these uh, these rows of three, then I won't have to realign myself with my watering cannons because I only have three watering cannons. So this will probably be the most efficient way to do it. All right, there we go. So this is our entire plot right now. I still have like three minutes before I, I should even start planting. Um, but I think that means I can I should just water it right now then. Let's get the watering done with. All right. Oh, you know what? One thing I wanted to do here. Let me see if I can do this. I hope I have enough time to mess around with this. Let's craft a light. Oh, I have just enough for a light pretty much. All right. We still have time. We got like two minutes. Oh, let me get my seeds and everything ready while I'm at it. So I have 54 fertilizer. So I don't want to plant more than 54. All right. There we go. Now we should have the light ready. And the reason why I want this light is because I want to add this light right here. Oh, you know what? I should add it on the inside by one. Yeah, right there. And this light is going to line us up. It's basically going to tell us when we're aligned with the uh, the plots. Okay, so now I have just under or just over a minute. So let's do this. So number four should be the water button. There we go. Yeah, so when that light gets centered on the next area, I know that it is time. Look at that. This is actually working really, really well. 
And just like that, we're all watered. And that took like 20 seconds. 20 seconds to water all that. Way, way, way faster. <laughs> the yellow line is ridiculous. Okay, so now I'm pretty much ready to plant. I just gotta wait until midnight, which is another 40 seconds. All right, in three, two, one, it is planting time. And I gotta fertilize this stuff ASAP. Let me, I think this is gonna be faster doing it this way. And remember, 54. So this is 60 total. So I want six left in the broccoli area. So let's not plant all of the, actually I might not even have Okay, there we go. That should be enough to fertilize all of it, as long as I don't miss. So just gonna be very, very intentional with the fertilizations. All right, let's see if I counted right. We should run out of fertilizer right when I get to the last broccoli. And there it is. And the rest of it, I will do, I have like, what, two crops left? Uh, let's do potato. Get a little bit of ammo. <laughs> A very, very little bit of ammo. There we go. Okay, this should be done in 21 minutes. So we should be able to pick all that up before the raid comes. All right, so let's fix this light marker here. We'll paint this back up. We'll paint the light marker white. And I will also make it so that this is hooked up to the same switch. Yeah, so now the light should turn off when I bring that in. So we don't have this random light just shining on the side of our vehicle. All right, there we go. I think that works out pretty well. Oh, hello, Mr. Cow. Okay, so I have it marked. It is marked with the farm icon, and I think for the day, I'm just gonna go loot because I am all out of component kits. I can also find more paint and stuff. There's a lot of paint right over here and uh, some chests and things. So yeah, let's do that. All right, so I know I'm not in a burned forest right now, so I'm breaking a little bit of tradition by talking about this. But um, the last time I talked about the music that I'm working on, um, and I gave a little bit of tiny previews of the music, and some of you, a, a handful of you, were able to actually find the channel. There was one way to find the channel with that music, and some of you have actually found it. About 40 of you have found it. Or at least 40 of you have subscribed to it. Probably more have found it than actually subscribed to it, because you weren't sure it was actually me or not. So yeah, if you're one of the ones who have found it and subscribed, you know who you are. Uh, but for the rest of you that weren't able to find it, or are still curious, I kind of like I like the scavenger hunts that you guys are going on trying to find it. It's kind of fun But uh, I'm gonna give you guys a pretty significant hint and this hint is going to contain the actual artist name Which if you type in that artist name into Google you will find my channels and you will even find one of my songs that has been released. But that song is not yet on YouTube because I'm still working on the visualizers and stuff. So at some point during this part of the video, you will see the hint flash on the screen and it will contain the artist's name, but it's not gonna be extremely obvious what the artist's name actually is just by looking at it. It's kind of a puzzle. So good luck. Uh, I hope you guys were able to see it, and I'm really curious how easy or hard it's gonna be for you to decipher the puzzle. But uh, if you do manage to figure out the name, then you will be able to listen to one of those songs that I showed you a preview of in its entirety. And then somewhere, maybe like a month or so down the line, could be a little bit longer depending. I still have a lot of, uh, a lot of work to do when it comes to releasing it. But once the EP is officially ready to be released, of course, I will let you guys know in a video. All right, I finished looting the places, and now I'm just kind of going on a bit of a killing spree, running over hay bots and uh, picking up their spines automatically and crafting them into uh, scrap metal. Because uh, it's super easy. Oh, and sometimes you get the occasional component kit, as we can see right here. The Hank Tank is definitely living up to his name. And of course, I'm also picking flowers because um, they smell nice and I need the paint. All right, it is now just about 21 o'clock, which means that these should be sprouting any second now. So let's get prepared and uh, we're also gonna have a fun raid tonight, I think. All right, here we go. The sprouting has begun. And with almost a minute to spare, the crop is all picked up and we're ready to start putting the seeds away and prepare for this raid. And I'm gonna eat myself a veggie burger to get my thirst and stuff back. And we got 10 seconds until the raid comes, so let's get out of here. We should be expecting some tape bots to join us today. And hopefully they'll all group up and I can do the good old Hank Tank Ram. All right, here they come. I don't see any tape bots. Oh, there's a tape bot over there. Kind of hard to see in the dark, but uh, they'll be lit up 
soon enough. Whoa. Oh, what? I'm seeing tape fly. Why is tape flying? Oh, I think they just killed a cow. I think that is a lot of stuff. Ooh, this is gonna be fun and risky, but here we go. <laughs> you know, we're gonna I'm gonna do a first person ram here. Oh, uh, look at them, they're all just bunched up. Oh, that was I don't know what happened, but it felt awesome. We just lifted up a little bit. Ooh, boy, our wheels actually the turning was a little extreme there. They got like pushed to the side even more. But all right, let's head on back. We're going in for another ram, this time in the third person. Oh, they're not all bunched up as much. All right, well, that was good. Mo there's still a tape bot that survived that somehow. I don't I don't know if there's any damage yet from the tape bots. I'm not seeing any holes in the windshield or anything. But let's come in for another ram. I love this strategy. This is a fun strategy. All right, here we go. Ooh, wait, how, what? How did they, do, like, that hay bot is just standing there. Like, I went right through it. I don't, why am I not just revert? Why am I turning around every time? I should just be reversing. Is there still a surviving tape bot? The tape bot is shooting the spine. All right, I'm going after the tape bot. There we go. <laughs> I just knocked him over. All right, there we go. Oh, no, it's stuck. It is stuck in my bumper. It's a literal bumper. It is, I, I mean, it's more of a rammer. Get out of there and get in there. There we go. All right, let's pick the rest of this stuff up. Really, no component kits out of that? That was a lot of bots and even like tape bots and stuff and not a single component kit. Okay, so now it is time to get ourselves our broccoli and um, pineapple packages. So I don't remember exactly how much I needed, but I'm just gonna make all of it. I mean, I don't really have that much of a reason to keep pineapple unpackaged in my vehicle anyway. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I need like one more pineapple to make another package. So I was able to make three packages. I think I only needed one to get the spuddling gun. But uh, before we get over there, I'm actually going to also get uh, the broccoli packages. And what I'm not putting the I'm not putting the packages there literally. I'm just putting them there so I can reach them from up here. And then I can put them up here. All right, there we go. We got some pineapple. Now let's get some broccoli. All right, we are lined up at the other packing station. It is broccoli time. Really? Just two packages worth? I guess I didn't really plant that much broccoli now, did I? Well, I didn't really need any broccoli anyway, so I'm not complaining. All right, now time to carry this stuff up the massive hill and get ourselves our spuddling gun. <laughs> no problem. All right, with fertilizer, it's just, it's not that hard. As long as you have fertilizer for the high tier crops that usually take two days, uh, the nomad lifestyle can still allow you to avoid raids. Let's keep, uh, oh, I'm all, all out of ingredients for the veggie burgers. But uh, I think we're, I think we're ready. I think we're ready for the spuddling gun. Let's see it. Uh, spuddling gun. Oh yeah, we got seven out of five required pineapple crates and three out of two farmers. We didn't even have to get any farmers either. Okay, here it is. The spuddling gun has been achieved. There we go. So I think in celebration, I want to try to make myself a new bed. Because I have plans for the inside of this area, and this is a nice spot for a bed and everything, but I want to put the bed on the top, kind of like I, I had it on my old vehicle, but I want to do it in a fancy way. Hopefully in a way that's not going to lag me at all. But I do have ideas and it's gonna utilize the pistons as well. It is gonna require a bit of engineering too, so hopefully I'll be capable. All right, this is really annoying that the bed is even width because I wanted to make it kind of like a hammock, but I won't have a center point on the bed. No need to worry about that. We'll, we'll figure this out. <laughs> All right, this system is turning out to be a lot more complex than I thought it was, and I hope it's not just gonna be a lag monster because uh, I have apparently a need for six pistons in this system that I have in my head. Uh, but I'm not done yet. I still, I still got some stuff to do before we even begin to install it and program it. Okay, I think I've built it and I'm concerned that I it's too wide, but this is like the necessary length in order to fit uh, the materials I wanted to fit in here. So let's find out. Let me get on top here. And oh no. Oh, you know what? This might work. I might just have to put it in. Uh, this is this is going to be annoying. 
it's gonna be really annoying to do logistically but i'm gonna have to move this stuff i'm gonna have to get all this stuff out of the way and i think i'm gonna have to build it into the railing so i'm just gonna delete a big chunk of the railing on either side so it's just not in the way and i think this happens to be exactly the width of the railing itself all right i hope i choose a good spot here but i weld it right there all right, so, oh no, I think I'm gonna need another higher level controller because I need more bearings than this has available. Unless I use a logic gate, I could use a logic gate to do the same thing. Oh, I have exactly enough for a single logic gate. I think this is all I need. I really hope this is all I need is just a logic gate to do this. All right, where am I gonna put this logic gate? Obviously, I'm gonna put it right there. Dang it. All right, so now this logic gate has to connect to all of these pistons. And then this logic gate connects to that logic gate. And that should activate all of the pistons, just like that. So now I just have to set the piston lengths. And oh, I just realized that side is not welded. Oh no, this is not a good... Oh man, I didn't do that. I need to make some modifications. I need to actually make it one block wider, which is fine by me. All right, hold on. But I think you see what I'm going for, right? This is going to be epic. All right, we're back. And now it actually makes sense as far as dimensions go. All right, check it out. Now we have our very own hanging hammock. And I'll show you guys what it looks like opening and closing. But first, let's actually paint it up and get the railings and stuff all back here. All right, here we go. We're all painted up. Unfortunately, I had to make this little cutout in the railing because uh, these pipe pieces would collide otherwise. And also this piece comes down into the railing. And that's just how it had to work out in order to fit two of these awning pieces in here. Because otherwise, if it was short enough to fit within the railing, then these awning pieces wouldn't fit because they're eight wide each. But as far as how this thing works, here you can see it in it. Oh, hold on. Here, here you can see it in its extended state. And then as I come down here, you can see it compress into its contracted state. So the hammock part actually stays pretty much on the same level, just like one block above the ground or two blocks above the ground, one and a half blocks. Um, but as everything extends up, it just hangs more. So let's go ahead and respawn, set our respawn point right here. And now this is where we're going to respawn. And look, it's actually, it's working. It's providing shade. The sun is out, but the shade is actually working. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's see what it feels like to drive around with this thing now. I think it actually looks decent back there, too. It is a little... The, the bed does wobble a little bit, but hey, it's a hammock. Like, what do you expect out of a, a hammock? It's supposed to wobble. Look at it. Look at it in there. And the leg? I'm not experiencing any leg so far. So I think this is actually not too bad. Yeah, so then just like the rest of our vehicle that gets deployed as we open up, as we get out of our seat, this will get all deployed, too. So now, I mean, it's not really that useful. I mean, having the bed, of course, is useful, but... <laughs> This is just a purely aesthetic addition, but now we have essentially a bedroom. I told you guys I planned on making a bedroom that wasn't a room. This is what I had in mind, a hammock. So this is turning into a luxury like cruise liner at this point. If you guys have any other suggestions for side quests, what other side quests or stuff that you want to see added, I'm going to add a dress bot to this thing. That's, uh, that's the thing I was talking about when I said I had plans for the inside here. I actually plan to have a deployable dress bot. Uh, a deployable dress bot. And I think it's going to sit back here. So that's something I'm going to have to figure out at some point later too. So yeah, another progress filled episode. We got the spuddling gun and we made ourselves a nice hammock. So I'm looking forward to seeing your feedback and uh, what you guys want to see in the future videos. And if you enjoyed this one, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff on the channel as well. You can check that out on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.